welcome back to my channel it is technically not Friday night it's technically Saturday morning let's see so I wanted to start doing like you know late late night chit chats around there to see if you know see if you guys like them I don't know, I just I feel like at the end of the week, I just need to talk to anyone. And of course, I talk to, I talk to my fiance, I talk to David. And that's great, but I talk to him all the time. So, um, which is not a bad thing. I love him, but we're getting married, for goodness sake. But I just want to take time to talk to you guys and to just really kind of like let my thoughts out. And just to update you, tell you what I'm doing and things like that. So this week was okay. Um, Florida for sure got hit with a terrible, terrible storm. And we were just basically like since Thursday just watching um, the weather, watching whether or not it was going to hit. And it did. And um, work was canceled for today, technically. I'm talking about Friday. So, you know, technically speaking... Um, technically speaking, yesterday. So I didn't go to work. Um, I got a call like around 5.30 in the morning after I put on my makeup, of course, <laughs> you know, um, which it was okay. But, um, and work was canceled due to like severe road conditions and it was too dangerous and um, just basically looking out for, you know, the employees and everyone going, so canceled work um my brother didn't have any school so he was home and we just kind of hung out it was funny because I'm so used to working that I'm at home and I it was like 10 o'clock in the morning I had no clue what to do with myself at all um it was either like sit down on the couch or go to my room you know here lay down I took a little bit of a nap I mean what are you supposed to do I, I had no clue I was so used to working and doing my own thing and um, and then to be at home I was like what do I do? I don't know what to do <laughs> but um, but it was okay I watched Netflix like a ton a ton of Netflix basically like was binge watching friends and I just love 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 friends and right now I'm at the part where um, Rachel just turned 30, so I just finished that episode today, and that was funny because then everyone's like reminiscing on turning 30, and it, get, it really got me thinking. I was like, how am I gonna act when I turn 30? I mean, personally, I don't feel like I'm gonna make a big deal out of it, but you never know. I mean, I'm only 24, so yeah, I still have a little bit to go, but it was just funny. I love that episode, and since the beginning, I don't know how many of you guys like are with me on this, but since the beginning, Ross and Rachel get on my last, last nerve. Like, they do. Ross and Rachel just get on my total and complete last nerve. Like, yeah, I don't know. Another show that I've been watching on Netflix with my mom was Grey's Anatomy. We just started watching it. And um, it's interesting. Like, my mom's really into the medical stuff I mean um, if she were to, like rewind time and kind of like make different decisions in her life she said that she would have become a nurse because she has like the stomach and the personality and just she has everything going for her to be a nurse really um, and I keep telling her like you can go back to school mom like it's possible but my little brother and with everything else going on she just decided not to but uh, but she has everything in her to like all the ingredients all she needs is the education part but she pretty much has everything else to become a nurse so all of that on Grey's Anatomy caught me by surprise because I'm not a person who can handle the those images like I don't want to say I'm a big baby but sometimes it just grosses me out like oh I can't can't stand it and then like today there was a guy that had nails stuck in his head and they were like taking it out in the operation I'm and I'm standing like on the couch like this 
like with my like with my eyes like in between my fingers you know because oh like it gets it just gets to me I mean it was um over the summer I went to go get a physical and with the it was my first time seeing an actual physician since I was you know 17 years old I went to P uh, the pediatric center so um, now that I'm working full-time I'm done with college I have a full-time job and now I have benefits and uh, which includes insurance so now I can actually go to a physician so uh, when I went to get my physical they sent me to go get blood tests and I was freaking out you have no idea I was freaking out so bad because I had never, believe it or not, like I'm being totally honest, I had never gotten my blood drawn before. Not for blood donation, not for anything. I, my blood stays in my body. Like, and don't get me wrong, like, I understand that there are people that really, really need it. Like, you know, so blood donations are like crucial and I, I totally understand that. And more power to people who, you know, want to do that. But I'm really scared of needles. Like, that's just the thing. Like, I am scared of needles. I freak out at the fact that blood is coming out of, like, my body and I can see it. And when I went to go get my blood drawn for the first time, I was a nervous wreck. I really, really was. I couldn't, like, handle it. It was crazy. And it was funny because the um, there was a gentleman that took care of me and he drew my blood and... Before he before he drew my blood, he he looked at me and I he looked at I like that I was nervous, but over the top nervous because I was just freaking out and I try not to like show it that much. It's more like he would ask me a question, I'll be like, uh huh, yeah, okay, you know, give me the smallest needle you have, please. And then he looks at me, he's like, have you ever gotten your blood drawn before? No. And then of course he's like, oh, okay. <laughs> like, okay, so he's like, don't worry. Small needle. And apparently I have like tiny, like itty bitty veins. So he had to use a small needle anyway. It was on this arm. And the one mistake that I did was I worked out and did my push ups and did some weight training beforehand. No, I don't even think I did that much weight training. I just did some cardio and a few push-ups and before I got my blood drawn. And I think that was the biggest mistake because then my bicep was hurting like crazy for over a week. Over, over a week. I had to wait like almost a week and a half to go rock climbing because that's how bad this bicep was hurting. Because like I think, I sh because I strained it, just doing my normal exercise, you know, like you tear the muscle and on top of that, getting my blood drawn, it couldn't heal as quickly as it would have. So I'm not doing that again. Well, another thing that I can think of that's going on is I recently bought a wig and it's for my cosplay. So um, the next Megacon is in Tampa next month. October 29th, I believe. I'm still up in the air on whether or not I'm going because I may have plans on that day and I'm or I may not. It just really depends how everything works out, but I still bought my costume. I still got the everything that I needed so I can be ready to go. Um but I just got the wig and I'm excited and I just bought the dress today, so I'm going to cosplay as Ariel, and I cosplayed as Ariel at the Orlando Megacon last year, and that was super duper fun, but at the time, I had hair like down to my waist, and it was red, so I didn't have to buy a wig, and now this time my hair is short and purple, and now I have to get a wig. It, like it's crucial I need to get a wig this time which is fine I, I paid about $18 for it on eBay and it's soft it's beautiful it's thick hair like it's synthetic hair but still it's like it's a thick wig and I love it 
and it's a beautiful shade of red. It's not like an over the top fire engine red. It's more of like a natural hair color red. Like I loved it. And I bought my dress today and I'm planning on wearing like the pink ball gown instead of my blue like kiss the girl dress. Like it's the outfit that she wears on the boat when Sebastian sings kiss the girl. So I wore that back last year, but I wanted to do something different. Plus I already, I already bought the petticoat for the dress and it's gonna be really, really big and poofy. I'm sorry I keep messing with my hair, but I have to wash it and I can feel it. It's like dirty and yeah, so I'm going to do that tomorrow. I don't know. This is just like late night chit chats. I really just wanted to sit and just talk before going to bed. Um, I may upload this tomorrow morning or this evening, tonight. I don't know, it's a late night, but I love cosplaying. If I can like work full time cosplaying, that would be awesome. I can't believe that I love cosplaying so much that I called up my aunt and this is a surprise for my little cousin. I have a little baby cousin. She's going to be turning five in January and her, her favorite Disney character or Disney princess is Elsa. And I've never attempted Elsa because, hello, I'm Puerto Rican. I have a, like, darker complexion, obviously. I'm not super, super fair. Um, but I was thinking, I was thinking that if I get the right costume, like Elsa's coronation um, outfit, where she's basically covered from the neck all the way down and she's wearing gloves, figured that if most of my body is covered, I can work with changing the skin tone of my face, which I did when I cosplayed as Snow White from Once Upon a Time for this past year's Megacon back in May. And, but that time around, I was able to change my skin tone using a very light concealer, but I'm gonna go to Ulta and see if I can get a very, very fair um, shade of the leg and body cover because that covers like nobody's business. I use it in my um, in my shade to cover up my blemishes, which ugh, I've been getting like pimples like crazy right through here. I have no clue why. I think it's because I'm sleeping on this side of my face instead of this side. I should sleep like on my back so then nothing on my face is touching my pillows and I also have to wash my pillow anyway so that's also like a sign that I need to wash my pillow. But anyway, um, but if I can get like a really, really fair shade of the Derma Blend leg and body cover and blend that in, set it, change my eyebrows, I can use Elmer's glue and probably some eyeshadow. I think that'd be the best, like an Elmer's glue stick and some eyeshadow just so it can stick on really nice. I am pretty sure that I can pull it off. But anyway, for her birthday in January, she's going to have a Frozen themed birthday party and... I told, I called up my aunt and said, how would you like if I cosplayed, you know, and like surprised her and come in just like later in the party and like, and then she's like, are you sure? Like she was really excited and she, but she's like, are you sure? Like, yeah, I, I think I can pull it off. Like I, I seriously think I can. So I'm already, I already bought the wig and it's beautiful. It's a beautiful, beautiful wig. It's the, her coronation style wig and it's lovely the braids are beautiful on it and um and the outfit is not that expensive i'd rather just buy it because i have no clue like honestly i have no clue how to sew i wish i did i want to learn i just don't have time i already have like so many other things going on in my life so um i don't have time to like learn like sit down and learn how to sew and i wish i did because it'd be awesome to make my costumes myself and just buy the fabric, but but at this point, you know, I'm just like, I'd rather just buy the costumes. I always find good deals on them anyway, and they're really, really good quality, so. So yeah, I'm so tired. I'm hoping to go to MegaCon in Tampa Bay. I really am. So, 
I'm also hoping to do a giveaway soon. I really, really want to. I, I'm at 121 subscribers now, and I love every single one of you guys. I really, really do. You guys are the bomb. You're so amazing. And I'm just happy with everyone that has stuck around with me on YouTube, even through my ups and downs, even through the moments that I just wanted to quit because I had so many other things going on in my life and I was neglecting this. And then I realized, you know what, I needed to make time because I, I truly, truly realized that I'm happy when I make YouTube videos. I'm, I really am. So... I want to just like show my appreciation and my thank you um, by doing a giveaway and it'll be soon. Um, I'm waiting for a really good deal to come around through, you know, BH Cosmetics or Little Ulta find some good, you know, find some good deals, good products, something that I can like really put together. It won't be like huge, but it won't, you know, it'll be pretty decent. But I don't know when that's going to happen yet. I still have to like look around for stuff, but... But that's kind of like in the near future somewhere. Do like a giveaway. That'd be awesome. And I plan on doing like weekly chit chats like this. Like I don't know if I should call them like late night, late Friday night thoughts or just Friday night chit chats. You know, uh, the late show with Lynette. You know. <laughs> so I don't know what I'm going to call this. I may change the name, but I don't know what I'm going to call this. I just wanted to talk to you guys. I really did. So, get some stuff off my mind, I guess. I think it's time to sign off because I'm yawning way, way, way too much. <laughs> but I will see you guys again very soon. I'm going to be posting a video up, a get, a get ready with me video up very soon. So, I don't know if it'll be up before this video or after. I think it may be up after this video. I'm not sure. But yeah, so um, good night, guys. I'm really tired. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go jump over there and pass out, basically. <laughs> All right, I love you guys, and I will talk to you soon.